How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how I warm up for a game of ranked seasons. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And in this video I'm going to be bringing back Satchel Page to pitch with and I'm going to be using the Buck O'Neill boost to boost up his hits in K per 9. I am going to just leave Buck O'Neill out there in the outfield. Um, but basically I have talked about uh, this type of method in my hitting tips video. I use the custom practice mode within MLB The Show and I have my hitting settings on Hall of Fame right now because I haven't played this game uh, at least online in about a week and a half so I wanted to kind of at least get my timing down a little bit here on a harder difficulty than I'm actually going to play in ranked I should be on all-star difficulty as I am around like the 500 rating and I'm also undefeated in this year's game so I want to try and maintain that record I'm currently 22 and 0 and in this video we're gonna be going for 23 and 0 uh, but basically, I'm just using a righty-on-righty righty hitter. You can pretty much pick anybody you want. Uh, for this one, I chose Buck O'Neill to face Nolan Ryan just because he does have outlier. It kind of shortens the timing window down a little bit, and he does have a really good speed differential on his changeup. I think one of the better pitches in MLB is uh, the slider, especially in this year's game. So with that being said, I don't have a slider that I'm facing right now. But there are other pitchers on this team that do, so I might use Tom Seaver, I might use Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson is a guy that I like to face quite a bit because people are still using him, right? Once uh, set two and set three cards are the only players usable, then you won't be able to use Bob Gibson unless you put him in your wild card spot. I don't suspect many people to use a pitcher, maybe the Shohei Otani card. Um, but if you want to try and you know face somebody else other than some legend rosters, you can always use uh, regular teams, right? I could face Shohei Otani in this. I could probably uh, face somebody else if I wanted to even download a custom roster. Some people do that and build a team of legends like Randy Johnson and Jacob deGrom and, and kind of combine certain pitchers that they have a tougher time hitting against. Basically, I went in there for a few minutes and for the first couple pitches, I just started to take some pitches. And then I started to kind of get my timing windows down. Sometimes I spend a little bit more time in the custom practice than others. Just for this specific one, I felt like I was ready to go. And maybe I should have warmed up a little bit and threw a couple pitches on Hall of Fame difficulty. Sometimes I do that. Uh, but for this particular one, I was kind of just feeling ready to go. I felt like I was uh, making contact early on. I felt like I was seeing the ball out of Nolan Ryan's hand pretty well. Uh, but really, my pitching hasn't won me any games anyway. So we're just looking to kind of minimize here. He, he let off the game with a home run from Ken Griffey Sr. That wasn't Ken Griffey Jr. That was Ken Griffey Sr. Kind of surprising to see him in his lineup. Um, but at the same time, I noticed that this guy uh, kind of has the future star boost. He doesn't really have the greatest team. He, he definitely has a budget team. Um, but I'm going to have to try and get some runs going, get something going at, here at the plate. And we started off with a leadoff base hit from the chase pack. Uh, Joe Maurer card. Now we have the Comet up, another chase pack reward. And this one's going to be sent off the wall. Felt like I was uh, ready for that curveball. Didn't swing late, didn't swing way too early. Like I might have if I didn't warm up, if I didn't try and take a few hacks. Uh, same type of thing here. Fastball, outlier, up and away. He hadn't really gone to that pitch at all. Um, I definitely threw one and got a strikeout on it. So maybe he was testing me right there. Uh, I always mention, you know, sometimes. Your opponents will throw pitches in particular spots of the strike zone that they have a tough time hitting. And I'm not even saying that that's exactly what happened right there. I don't I don't think so. I wasn't really looking for a pitch up and away. I just kind of reacted. And uh, when I play this game, a lot of times I kind of just set my PCI low in the strike zone and wait and look at the pitcher's release point. That is the main thing. That's what I do when I warm up. And that's what I do right when I go into a game of ranked seasons. It, it seemed to work in this one, um, but not every time. Not particularly every time do we start off pretty hot in the first and score four four runs right there. But uh, this opponent sent me a friendly quit. I thought he might have made a mistake there. Maybe he wanted to go to his bullpen, so I waited a second. Um, and then I declined it, of course, but he went ahead and quit. I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys how... I approach the game. Uh, there is a reason why I'm undefeated. I'm not the best in the game, but I also haven't really uh, pursued World Series, so I'm not really playing the top players, the best of the best. This is more of an approach for the average player and how to uh, at least get a little bit better at the game if you are just a casual player. I've, I've only played 23 games of rank this year. 
But until next time, I'm College Lefty, and peace out.